before we start, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe underneath this video. We're about to start, so grab a drink as well as something to eat, and let's go. All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're basically going to be looking at how to tell if you are good or if your enemy or teammate, etc., etc., is a good player. Basically, summing it up, we're going to be looking at the most important stats in the game and how to tell if someone is a good player or not. So, after your battle or you know in your garage, you can go to your account, and this is the first page. So, the most important things on the first page is the amount of battles someone has played. It has to be more than five thousand. You know, because if it's under 5,000, that means he's basically seal clubbing noobs that haven't really been, uh, you know, uh, able to play the game properly yet. And that's the most important stat, because if it's less than 5,000, that means his stats don't really matter until he reaches 5k plus battles. So that's that. Let's get that out of the way really quickly. And then we have to look at the victories and average damage per battle. However, this is less important. Why? Because someone, if let's say I played 50,000 battles and I've only been playing like a super unicum for the last 5,000 battles, well then, you know, my stats won't look like a super unicum stats unless Unless it's my most recent tanks therefore victories and average damage per battle don't really matter overall on the account the most important stats here are battles and the clan the person is in because if you're in a top clan well that already tells that uh, this person is pretty good at the game so battles and clan on the first page at least uh, the most important stats guys are on the third page so you come here and uh, you categorize the third page by average damage this allows you to look at the most recent results the player has had why well because average damage is not manipulated like win rate win rate can easily be manipulated guys how you can go into a platoon with a, with an insane player with a pro player and he could carry you and you could have done nothing and that's why it's a lot harder to show someone's skill based on win rate instead you look at average damage at tier 10 tier 10 is the most skill based tier so you look at tier 10 you click on average damage and you have to look at the average damage i'd say anything above 2500 is considered pretty decent 2500 plus is considered decent 3k plus is already considered a lot better than average at least in my opinion so average damage is the most important number and then you look at the amount of battles someone has played because if someone has played less than 100 battles in a tank well that sh that, well, that doesn't really show how good this player is in that particular tank why because i could play 10 battles for example in the amx 50b and i could do 4000 damage but that wouldn't really show my skill you know because i didn't play enough battles in it anything above 100 battles counts as a person's skill let's say again i have 680 battles on the mx 50b and 3300 average damage that means this tank counts as my you know it, it's a good showing of how good i play the game uh, because again i have more than 100 battles and decent average damage per battle so those are the most important stats so it's average damage per battle on the tank and then the amount of battles you have on the tank and then you look at win rates xp doesn't even matter at all guys so it's as follows again average damage battle and then win rate win rate is the least important stat here because again you can easily manipulate win rate let's say you have a person who plays 65 uh, percent overall on the account again but uh, i mean up against the person who, who has a 50 percent win rate account but if the 50 percent win rate person has you know 4,000 average damage at tier 10 with over 100 battles played on each tier 10 tank well it's obvious that he's going to be the better player so that's that the more the the, the, the less important um stats sorry here are obviously battles survived and your accuracy if I have a, let's say, 75% accuracy, well, that shows that I can't really aim on my mobile device. And I pretty much suck on mobile. And you better switch the PC. <laughs> but um, apart from accuracy, Battle Survived is a really good indicator of a person's skill. Minus 42, which is completely bad. If you look at pro players, I'll show you in a second. They have insane Battle Survived. My better Battle Survived is probably on the Kronwagen. Almost 58%. Even that, it is kind of bad. For a super unicum player so uh, i'd say i need to improve on my battle survived for example for example if you look at my uh, 
clan, one of my clan leaders. Uh, there you go. He has 73% win rate. Insane. Uh, if you look at, again, if you look at his tanks, you can see that he has a WZ 1115A and he only has 14 battles on it and he's done 4.1k and that does not matter again guys this tank does not show his skill because he's only played 14 battles however if we look at the amx m4 then he's played 100 battles in it and 4.1k and this is a good indicator of his skill the wz didn't count but the amx counts so does the fv215b why because again 103 battles and 4k plus now, if you look at his battle survive, that's even more insane. 72% survival rate. That is absolutely insane. And that shows that he's a very, very good player. He doesn't give his HP up for no reason. Compared to me, uh, since my survival rate is really low, you can already tell that um, I pretty much like to trade HP. I give HP up for free and I die a lot sooner. And if I didn't die as quickly, I would probably be doing a lot more uh, numbers in terms of average damage here so that's that guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you learned something new i hope this is good enough to uh, you know give a little boost to the community maybe motivation i don't know whatever you want to take from this with that so this video comes to an end if you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys next time happy is out bye bye